morning. Hello, Puppet. Did you sleep well? You did. Come on then, let's get up. This time we're going to see the endocrinologist, which is the hormone specialist. So we're just going to give Callum a quick bottle and then we're going to go. So I'm going to record when I get home because this is very rocky, but we've got our costas, we're all happy and we're going home! Right, so we're home again now. Um, we've obviously been to the hospital this morning and the visit today was really, really good. Um, we went to see the endocrinologist and it was a lot more informative. They actually um, measured him and weighed him today. So he is seven and a half months old, um, almost eight months, and he was uh, 15 pounds and 12 ounces. And his length, I think, was 61.2 centimetres. So on the... Um, the normal charts you get in the red book. This is actually really low down for his length. He's below the 0.4 centile, so it makes him really quite small, obviously, because he's got um, dwarfism. Um, but when I came home, I then plotted that onto the achondroplasia charts on the, on the internet, and he's performing kind of mid to top range, so that's really good. Um, the website said he was in the 80th centile, so to me that sounds really positive that he's quite high up the charts. So. That's like really, really good news to us. Um, we'll see obviously as each measurement we get how that kind of progresses along the chart and whether it carries on growing, whether it levels out. We, we don't really know what's gonna happen there. Um, but the endocrinologist was really good. She listened to his chest. She looked at his um, general movement with his arms and his legs. Um, she measured his head and checked his um, skull because she's also interested in his skeletal development as well as the hormones and the growth aspect of it. So she went through things that um, we had heard before, you know, about how to support his back because you can't put extra pressure on his spine and obviously making sure that he's not sitting until he can support his own weight and things like that and that his development physically may be a little lagged behind because he just needs that core strength to support his head as his head is larger than uh, an average like seven month old. So besides that she had no issues looking at him she said he looked like a really bright baby and she was like really positive in that there was no reasons for us to keep coming back to the hospital to see her in particular. Um, whilst we were there she mentioned that London has been doing some research into medication which actually targets the mutated gene 
and I guess enables it to work again so that the bone growth kind of re-establish itself. They've been doing trials, I think, from what she said, and the success rate's been really good, but the medication isn't yet licensed, so it's not obviously available for like everyone's use. Um, she's going to write to London and find out um, like the future of the medication, you know, is it going to be licensed, what's going to happen, because it's really good for um, infancy. So whilst um, children like Callum with achondroplasia are really young, then it can help them to re-establish that bone growth. And it apparently can work up until the body matures, so up until he's full adult size. So that's something to bear in mind for like the next couple of years if it does become available. Um, she mentioned that they've done some growth hormone trials but they've not been very successful so that's not an avenue that anyone's going to go down at the moment but that's fine. And obviously the other avenue which we're not interested in is the limb lengthening which is surgeries and we don't feel the need to put him under any unnecessary stress, unnecessary surgeries and risks um, for a few inches like it, it doesn't bother us that he's small it hopefully won't bother him and um, we just don't want to do anything too risky but if there's something with like minimal effect that could have a positive effect on his future then we'll at least look at it but anything drastic like a limb length thing we've we've said known from day one so Today's appointment overall was really positive. Um, she doesn't need to see us now until about six months time. She said she'll send us a letter and we'll make another appointment to go back so she can have another look at him, measure him again, see how his growth is going on and I guess have a little catch up after looking at the MRI as well and the sleep study because she was obviously really making sure that we were in touch with the right departments and that we were being seen by the right people. So everything that she mentioned, we have either already seen or we already have um, connections with in our community. So like our um, paediatrician and our physio who are local. So we already have that set up. So that's really good to know that everything that Callum will need, he does already have. And we can then use those services to make sure he gets any support that he needs as he um, grows up. So today was a really good appointment, didn't learn masses but it was nice and positive and as we know more I will let you know. So um, keep an eye on the blog, keep an eye on my Instagram, it's at the little buffin and obviously keep an eye on YouTube. Um, either way you'll all be in the loop and we can all learn about this because we don't have a clue either. So as we learn, we will tell you and hopefully everyone will start to learn what this is. Um, so yeah, so this is the little puffin. If you like these little videos, then please give me a big subscribe, give me a thumbs up and I will speak to you soon.